The whole point of this house is to build something that we could then make a show place to bring out and put in our TAF bulletin. The house came up as an, as an opportunity that the TAF school wanted to build. They wanted a high performance structure, a high performance home. It was more like they said, we want a single family home that's about this size and looks sort of like this and make it hyper energy efficient. Go. We're doing a, a, a whole alphabet soup of certifications on this home, so our, our role in the big picture is third-party verification, which is an important piece of any high-performance building certification program. It was kind of a fun project from that uh, respect, and, and having the a long-time campus couple on the faculty move into this building and reward them with a home like this is kind of a neat thing, too. As soon as you walk into this house, you can tell it's sound, it's airtight, you feel like you're wrapped in a hundred wool blankets. You, it, it, it's so warm. You would never know that it was below zero this last two weeks that we've been here. One of the first things we're doing is addressing the envelope and making that super insulated and super tight. Just in general, a leaky house has a lot more dust and with dust come dust mites and with dust mites come allergies and other critters. So green homes, another side benefit is that they tend to be super clean. All the windows have let so much sunlight in, it's just really nice and bright in here too, which I think probably helps with the uh, heating. And the windows are, are a big, big part of, of the envelope, the thermal envelope. These are triple pane windows. They have a effective overall U value of 0.14, extremely efficient. There's very little else out there that is any better. A super high performance home like this one, um, to get those really, really low energy loads, what we first start with is the building envelope. It's all about the envelope. When you build a home to this level, to the, to the passive house level, it achieves an extreme tightness level. That tightness level requires taping and sealing all the joints, and you have to define this air envelope from the slab to the walls, around all the windows, up over the ceiling. That has to be continuous. That allows us to control the air infiltration down to a very small amount. That's when you start looking at your base mechanical system. After mechanicals, you start looking at ventilation. Because we are so tight, it's extremely critical that we have fresh air being brought in and we're removing pollutants. The operational costs of your home drop significantly just by doing these moves. So we start adding renewables and you can see a really significant change in that HERS index dropping from a 33 to a minus 16 in this case. So it can be incredible. Connecticut Zero Energy Challenge is a great way to showcase what a Connecticut homeowner can do. These people who are all out there on their own doing really great high performance you know, stuff, but they're kind of, they're on the bleeding edge of the industry. When you put them into a contest like this and you see what they're all doing, you really start to see that it is more of a movement. The challenge is working and the industry is, uh, is really raising its game, so it's very cool. I think it's a great program and I think that the long-term effects of, of the publicity that houses like this get in other houses is that it'll bring the cost of the, of the building green down and I think that's a, that's a great thing because uh, once we do that, more and more people will uh, uh, take advantage of it.